What is going on? Today we are going to be looking into Anthem, the new game coming out that's a cross between like I would say Destiny and Titanfall and Iron Man. I would say that those are three things that I would I would describe this game. Anyway, uh <laughs> we're going to play this very very buggy and uh frustrating VIP demo. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So I thought I would do, basically, would be just play the game and have live commentary of the game and everything like that, but it was so incredibly difficult to play this game when I first got in it. As you can see, like, <laughs> the, the map hadn't even loaded in yet, and I was, I was just struggling with the frame rate. It was extremely hard to play. I would have situations where I would try and go from the map room and figure out how to use the map, A, and get into the game. I would have issues loading into the game itself. So one of the big things is that you can play with other players, right? You play with your friends or you can play with random players. In order to do the story mission, that's kind of how it seems like this game is going to be played out. Um, but it took me so long to load in it like stopped loading I had to close out of the game and then I had to reopen the game Continue my session and then it finally loaded the last little 10% not even and then by the time I got into the game You can see here that I'm just uh, first off just trying to admire the game itself and look around uh, Learn controls and all that kind of stuff But uh, all the other dudes that have been playing this for a while or know what they're doing are off running ahead and I'm pretty sure you'll see shortly that it's gonna it's it's about to warp me to them, which I guess is a nice feature. Um, so you know helps pre prevent AFK players maybe I guess, but um, I I didn't really like that because the story had already begun by the time I got in, and so I missed a lot of dialogue I felt. So I really throughout the entirety of this game had no idea what was going on. Um, there was a few story missions that I could play. And even then, I, I really did not fully understand what my purpose was here and how to play the game. There is a free play mode that you can choose to do, which allows you to just fly around and explore on your own, which is nice. And I didn't have any lag issues because I was just, you know, connecting with my own whatever. So obviously with the VIP beta, this was just... I mean, it, it could only do so much, you know? Obviously, it's going to have some bugs. Obviously, it's going to have some issues. But there was just a lot of, like... I feel it was more connectivity issues. And... The biggest thing was there really wasn't a whole lot to tell me what was going on with, like, actual gameplay. And one of my biggest struggles was, like, just learning the menus. Because in order to go out in your suit, right, to leave the area and start exploring and all that kind of stuff... You had to go into the map, right? You you w would walk up to your machine and then get in it, and then it would bring up the map, and then you could select something. And then usually, after selecting something, you could just, like, click a button and go. Um, and it took me a while to figure it out. You actually had to go back to the previous screen after selecting something and then hit Begin Journey or whatever BS that it had listed there. So it, it, it just didn't, like, act like a normal video game game it's just it's just kind of really weird like the menus will take you a minute otherwise like it's very pretty and uh, after a while I did get used to it and I I've, I've recorded a couple times and I had a pretty fun time learning some of the different uh, suits that you can use there's you've got the one I'm using right now which is the balance between armor and attack you got that big juggernaut looking guy, which obviously is the tank. And then you have two other classes that you can play as. One is a it's considered the st storm suit. I don't know. It uses elementals, which are in this game, that have different effects like freezing, burning, and acid, electricity, that cause different effects on your guy. Flight controls aren't the greatest, but after a while you can kind of get used to them, and it's pretty fun and there's some really cool stuff that you can actually do while flying like uh, using your ultimate while flying which is really cool you can't shoot while flying it turns into hover mode um, there's a, a lot of buttons do a lot of different things and that's good, probably gonna be like 
the biggest learning curve and then key mapping those buttons to do what you want them to do uh, so it's just easier accessibility like the right now the the V key is the melee key and that's a little awkward to hit and then you have your interceptor which is basically your high damage you know low sh you know, low health low armor guy that goes in and you know, deals all the kind of damage but he has also apparently supposedly um, melee so they have a quicker melee action and their ultimate is uh, a melee ability so yeah but uh, they're the, like the most agile uh, suit you can have so I, I believe that you can like triple jump in that one uh, you have a bunch of dashes you can use I, I play with it a little later on and obviously I'll show some footage of that I found it to be my favorite suit uh, this is definitely a game where the, the you can uh, you don't have to pick one and be done. You can actually unlock all the suits, customize them. The customization is pretty great, actually. I really like the customization. You can get stuff to you know, add on to your suit, different armors, stuff like that. Finals, just a lot of vanity items. And then I also have some more footage where I'm just you know throwing on new weapons different components to your suit to do stronger stuff obviously that's part of this game it's very more or less like destiny in that aspect where you can loot stuff and stuff like that i have high hopes for the game anthem though i'm actually looking forward to playing it when it comes out on the 22nd and i'll probably try again on the first through the third for the open demo um, and see if they've maybe change anything or fix the lag issues or something like that but I think it's gonna be a pretty good game and I think it's gonna be a game everyone can get excited about that sums it up that pretty much wraps up uh, how I felt about Anthem how I felt playing it and I guess I guess yeah I, I enjoyed it so I mean I pre-ordered it so <laughs> I'm forced to like it so if you stuck around this far thanks for watching and uh, yeah well you know I have other videos and stuff like that they suck but you can go see them goodbye